Was this person deported? Yes, a year and a half later. And he's yeah. back. We have sources. Sitting next to you is Art, a, a border agent and the vice president of the Border Patrol Council. Art, what do you think about this situation? You know, th that's, that's the chaos that's been happening for a long time. You know, this helps because you got to come together and find out, you know, what the issues are and how do we fix them legally. I was born in Mexico. I came here legally. I was raised on the border. I grew up on the border. I've lived on the border. I work on the border. I've seen the reality of what's happening down there. I have the experience because I've seen it. And I can tell you that Border Patrol agents, when I see them out there, they're the largest humanitarian organization in the country because they're the ones that I've seen go out there and rescue people. I've seen them carry individuals for miles when they're hurt. I've seen agents bring food from their home and give it to the illegal aliens that are crossing into the United States. I've seen them bring things for the kids that are being held in the detention centers. So it's just horrific to paint them with a broad stroke. Um, it, that's what bothers me the most of that, you know, they attack these individuals for that. And we're seeing the chaos that is happening. And it is driven by criminal uh, criminals. It's driven by the cartels. The cartels know what areas they can saturate with large groups. They know that's going to have agents respond to that area, remove them from there. Now they're going to be having to do the processing, the transport. Many times they're having to do the hospital watches. And at that time, that's when they're taking advantage to bring their products across. That's when they're taking advantage to bring individuals with serious criminal records into the United States or those that have committed crimes in the past. That is the reality of what's going on down at the border. You said that you can't paint BP with a broad stroke, but you're painting refugees with a broad stroke, saying that they're all... There's, the stats say that refugees actually commit 50% less crime than U.S.-born citizens. And we have to understand this, that this land that we're on right now is indigenous land. I'm not... White, no, nobody has ever... Why white never people said that. They came and committed a hundred million so, genocide. A hundred million natives here's, died. Here's the, this here's land the is, was, was inhabited for thousands of and years. This is Native the Americans, with Mayans, Mexicas, for thousands yeah, of years. We, white people left England. Why didn't white about. people stay in England? And then on top of that... So do you guys... You're talking about the Book of the land was the land was the land the land was the land was the land the land was 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 the Zero percent crime. They shouldn't be here. Who's if this the guy, no, I don't want to. I don't want to go into anything right. else. I'm telling you right now, my son would still be alive. I know. I'm sorry. If about this that. guy wasn't in the country. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.